Welcome back to my channel, friends. Blessed and OCC Obsessed, where it is my goal to encourage and inspire you to pack full, fun, and personal shoe boxes. For tonight's unboxing, I'm going to share with you um, a special box that um, really kind of signifies um, what I find is very important when packing shoe boxes, and that's prayer. Um, there is so much information out there on what you should pack, what you shouldn't pack, what the children need, what the children shouldn't have. Yes, Operation uh, Samaritan's Purse does have a what's okay to send and what's not okay to send a list. And yes, I fully encourage everyone to check out that list when you have questions. But you know, it still doesn't stop us from asking other people for their um, their input. And sometimes um, their input may not match what another person says. And, you know, outside of the what is okay to send and what's not okay to send, you know, you need to pray about it and, and pray that God um, shows you you know, what to put in the shoe box and, and ultimately have faith that what you pack is exactly what that child needs or will want when they open their shoe box. And so with that in mind, um, when I was on one of my Dollar Tree shopping trips, I was looking for calendars because I love to decorate lids um, in my boxes and calendar pages can be very bright and fun and an easy way to decorate. And I came across this particular page on one of the pages of, of this calendar. It's um, the Second Corinthians 5, 7, we walk by faith, not by sight. And I just knew that the shoe box that I was gonna pack was going to have this on the lid and then everything else just kind of fell into place. And you know, the, I truly feel like this box is an example of me having faith that everything that I pack in this box is going to be loved, is going to bring this child joy. And, you know, the right down to, you know, I stress about those things, but I also stress about the fact that I pack this in a larger box because there are people who disagree with using larger boxes, but again, I'm having faith that God directed my path in packing this shoe box with these items. So with all that being said, let's jump right into this shoe box for a girl aged 10 to 14. And one of the first things she is going to see is this sweet, um, colorful unicorn. And then I also added a pretty um, bright and colorful bow for her hair that I like to add in a lot of my girls' shoe boxes. I included a drawstring backpack. Um, I'm going to keep this closed up so I can put it all back in here. But it is says, um, kindness is cool on this bag. I included a little purple um, flying disc filling up all the spaces. I like to include musical instruments in all of um, my shoe boxes. And so for this little lady, I put in a pretty blue um, kazoo. I printed off some instructions from blessingsinashoebox.com on how to use the kazoo. Um, it explains that you hum into the, the wide end. Included a bar of soap a washcloth. I also included for this young lady a dignity kit. Um, this is really packed tight. So the other part of the dignity kit is in here in this bag. And I had a wonderful viewer suggest, make a, a brilliant suggestion to wrap the, um, the dignity cloth pads in something so the young lady 
you know, may not, that way she's not embarrassed when she's opening it. So I wrapped her pads, her cloth pads in this really pretty bandana. I'm very thankful for that suggestion. I included two extra pair of panties. Um, I put them in this um, organza bag. So yet again, she they don't fall out and she doesn't risk getting embarrassed. I included two fun matchbox cars. A fun multicolor pen and it's got a stamper on the end. I included a water bottle and in her water bottle I have stuffed a bright colorful hair scrunchie. In this little organza bag I've included two necklaces. One of them is the cross necklace that I made for her. I make these for all of my shoe boxes, girls and boys. And I also included this fun unicorn um, necklace. It, her little unicorn stuffy looks a lot like this necklace. I included a toothbrush. I made her a pencil pouch. This was one of the first um, pencil pouches that I made um, when I first started crafting this. And this pencil pouch has been shared multiple times this year with um, other churches, other small groups. Um, it has held up really well. So I have um, faith that this pencil pouch will work great for this young lady. And I have packed it full of number two pencils, highlighters, scissors, pins, and a whole bunch of fun skater stickers. These are skateboard stickers, sorry, skateboard stickers. And they have multiple, there's messages like the battle belongs to Jesus. And there's several scripture ones. There's about six or seven scripture stickers here that I also included in this pencil pouch. And we're getting down to her wow items. Um, let me pull out some of the other things on the slide first. I also found this um, fun um, devotional at Dollar Tree. It's Faith Moves Mountains. I included this watercolor travel kit for her. This, the secondary theme of this box is um, arts and crafts because I love to do crafts and I, I just felt that that's what this young lady would love is a box full of crafts. I got sidetracked. Let me finish with the water bottle. Um, I also included in her water bottle uh, this fun necklace and it has matching earrings. This is a little hygiene kit that has a couple of nail, um, Color Street nail files and some nail clippers. Got a large chapstick. I'll put her glue stick in here. In this organza bag, I included a whole bunch of colorful hair ties. And then a, this very large, bright rainbow um, eraser. And her little um, water bottle says sparkle and shine. All right, so back to the arts and crafts. I have some mod Play-Doh modeling clay. some colored pencils and I included um, this sketch pad. Um, the sketch pad had a clear pouch on the front so I printed off this scripture for her. For you are God's masterpiece created in Christ to do good works. Jesus created 
goodness gracious, excuse me. For you are God's masterpiece created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for you to do. Ephesians 2.10. Can't read upside down. But I printed that off and put it in the pocket of this sketchbook just to make it extra pretty. I also included this. Um, it's a journal. It says, because you know that the testing of your faith pers uh, produces perseverance. And it's got scriptures at the top of each one of the pages. This is her um, dignity pouch. It's waterproof. And it has uh, another pair of panties and two more pads in here. I also have... I knew I'd forgot to put this in here. Um, instructions on how to uh, attach them to the panties and how to take care of them. And I included this finger washboard as well. I've got a large tooth comb. I like to include a ball in all my boxes. And so I included this 25 cent ball from Old Navy. All my 10 to 14 year olds get a pocket calculator. Here's her um, pencil sharpener with some extra pencil eraser caps. A box of crayons. I included this little compact mirror that I got at our church's conference this summer. This is her wow item. It is a uh, fantastical friends needlepoint kit and I just left it in the box because it's got a nice little carry handle in it and it's got all the instructions on how to do these needle points but this is her wow item I, I like normally like to have them at the top of the box but obviously because of the shape it is going towards the bottom I included a, um, it's a yellow notebook that I blinged up for her using um, some scrapbook paper, some stickers, and my Cricut. To, I also included this um, Mandela's coloring book. It's an advanced coloring book. And to go along with her sketch pad and her colored pencils, I created for her this learn to draw color learn to draw book it's an instruction book in each page um, i've got simple pictures of items for her to draw it's a fun easy way there's 10 pages in here it's a fun easy way to personalize your box and if you theme box like I do, you can, um, you know, choose what pictures you want to include in the box. I do that with coloring books as well. In the bottom of the box, I've got a full size ruler. And I also included a personal letter that I like to include in all my shoe boxes. It shares a picture of my family and I, tells the child a little bit about us, and it lets the child know that not only do we love them, but Jesus loves them. I sure hope that this unboxing has encouraged and inspired you on how you too can go out and pack a full, fun, and personal shoebox. Again, I just encourage you to pray about the child that you are packing the box for before you get started. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe to my channel and come back and visit me again. Thank you.